What's up guys, Cam making goalkeeping here and welcome back to another weekly solo goalkeeper training session. So did you know that 80% of you guys watching this video is not subscribed? So do me a favour and hit that subscribe button, I'm trying to hit 500 by the end of the year. Whilst you're down there, you might as well hit the like button for me. Again, it just shows that you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out for you. So let's get straight into the first drill. As you can see, I'm just doing some handling drills to warm my hands up so I can be prepared for a full session. So started off doing some underarm throws, I've done 10 of these and that allowed me to focus on catching the balls at head height. Another thing that I was really trying to focus on during this technique was making sure I got both hands behind the ball using the W technique, allowing me to catch the ball in the most comfortable way. After I'd done that, I moved on to throwing the ball from my chest and as you can see there, what that does is it comes back at me and that just allows me to practice catching the ball using my basket technique. Again, being a goalkeeper you're wanting to try and practice as much different aspects of goalkeeping as possible because you never know what kind of catch you're going to need to use in a game. So as you can see I was doing the basket and I've worked on catching it with a W or the diamond depends how you catch it at my face. After that, I then threw the ball down towards the crazy catch and then practiced working on my scoops. Obviously, I don't have a feeder, so I can't get someone to kick the ball into me. So this is how I'm doing it myself, so I'm working on all goalkeeping aspects. So again, I do 10 of these. My main focus when doing this drill was ensuring that both hands were behind the ball when catching it. This just meant that there was no possible way for the ball to go through my legs and into the back of the net. So that is the first drill. Moving on to the second one, again I'm just working on handling but I'm getting a bit more power on it this time by doing volleys against the crazy catch. What I was doing here is ensuring that I was working on both my left and right foot distribution so I've not got one stronger side. Well I mean my right foot is my stronger but I'm improving my left just so I'm not dependent on my right foot. And because that was the second part of my warm up, I only done five on both legs. This next drill that I've done was working on my right sided dives and I've got to say I didn't come up with this drill, it was Kenny Arthur from KA Goalkeeper or Callier who does it on the Youth Football Scotland page every week. So I start off by facing away from the crazy catch and bounce the ball against the ground. Then after that I make sure I turn my full body around, take a step, throw the ball off the crazy catch. What I'm looking at when doing this is making sure that my recovery is good so once I make the save I get up nice and quick with a good technique so I'm not scraping my gloves against the ground and I'm also making sure that I get that power step in before I dive. Getting that extra step in allows me to make my dive a lot further which in return will increase my distance when diving in a bigger size goals rather than just a small patch of grass that I've got. And like I've previously mentioned, being a goalkeeper, we need to make sure that we're as symmetrical as possible on both sides, both, both aspects of goalkeeping, whether that be distribution, diving, handling, anything. So I repeated the exact same drill on the left side, and again, what I found is my weakness is not so much diving to the left, but getting a good technique on the left side. So I was taking this side a bit slower, making sure that I improved the technique. Sometimes that's best for you to do, just slow the drill down to make sure that you can get the right technique and that again in future will improve your overall performance. After I've done that I've went on to 6 catches and because it's such a hard drill you're making sure that your fitness is improving at the same time because you're persevering through the burns of training. So moving on from one high intensity drill to another. This was another one of the drills that was on Kenny Arthur's weekly goalkeeping training session on Youth Football Scotland. I would definitely recommend go to check them out as well because he's got some amazing drills over there. But let's get on to the analysis of the drill. So basically I've got a blue cone set up in the middle of the crazy catch and what I'll be doing is I'll be standing at one side of the cone and putting my hand out with the ball. Once I drop the ball I'm going to have small nimble steps around the cone and this just means that my feet work improves and I can take smaller steps moving across the bigger goals again to reach the top corners, the bottom corners and as far wide in the goals as possible. What I'm focusing on is the first save is trying to push the ball away as far as possible rather than catching the ball under my body. Once I've made that first initial save I'm making sure that I'm getting up as quick as possible and then making the second save. 
The second one, again, I'm focusing on making sure that I get my power step like I was in the last drill because that power step is crucial making sure that you cover the distance in goals. Like I said, it's a high intensity drill so I end on the six different catches at the end again to improve my fitness and try and push through the burns. And let's be fair, it wouldn't be a cam in training session without a reactions drill at the end. This one's a pretty easy one that I've set up here. So I've got the reaction side of my crazy catch set straight up directly in front of me and then I start off throwing the ball quite light just so it can go anywhere. Again, on the reaction side the ball will go anywhere in case you didn't know that or have not watched any of my previous videos. And then gradually I start throwing the ball harder because the harder you throw the ball, the faster it comes back. So I've done that for as many sets until I started to get really tired. So I hope you guys enjoyed this training session. If you like the new commentary style rather than music, please let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, like the video and I'll see you guys later.